California Braille and Talking Book Library in collaboration with Adaptive Technology Services. Victor Reader Stream 2 from Humanware. Tutorial. Simple but powerful, the Victor Reader Stream, VRS, will always be there when you need it. The VRS enables you to access the Braille and Talking Book Library collection and download books directly to your device. It opens the doors to a world of reading, including fantasy, historical fiction, mystery, romance, and much more. Learn about the current events that are shaking and shaping the world. Device Orientation Hold the device with the keys facing up. Place your left hand along the left side of the device. If the device is situated correctly, you will feel a small round button near the top of the left side with two triangular arrow keys farther down the left side, one pointing up and one pointing down. Front face of the VRS. The front face of the VRS is divided into three sections. Top section of the front face. There are three buttons near the top of the front face. They have different shapes, so it is easy to distinguish them. For now, you will learn the name of the buttons and their general functions. Starting from the left, left key, go to button, square. Press this button to go to a page or to a specific book. Middle key, online button, round. The online button is multifunctional. You can use the online button to turn airplane mode on or off and switch between the standard offline or online bookcases. Right key, bookmark button, diamond. Press this button to place a bookmark and go back to it later. This button has other functions as well. You will learn them soon. Middle section of the front face. Number pad, the same format as a telephone keypad. Each number has different functions. First row, numbers one, two, three. Second row, numbers four, five, six. Third row, numbers seven, eight, nine. Fourth row, star, zero, pound. The number five has a raised nib for orientation. Bottom of the front face. Sleep key, oval. This is an important button. You can set a sleep timer for your VRS to turn off. It also works as a clock. Play stop key, rectangle. Rewind, triangle pointing left. Fast forward, triangle pointing right. Left side of the VRS starting at the top. Power toggle button, round. Volume up key, triangle pointing up. This button can change the speed or tone if pressed after tapping the power button. Volume down key, triangle pointing down. This button can change the speed or tone if pressed after tapping the power button. Right side of the VRS starting at the top. Microphone port, record key. You can record voice notes. Press it once to start recording. Pressing it again will stop the recording. Top edge of the device starting at the left. SD card slot, headphone jack. The bottom edge of the device. Micro USB port. There is a raised dot below this port that may be hidden by the VRS case. Charging the battery. One, insert the larger USB plug into the power adapter, brick. This cable can only be connected one way. Do not force the connection. Two, insert the smaller, 
micro USB plug into the VRS. The port is in the center of the bottom edge of the device. The bump on the connector should be facing down. Three, the micro USB plug can only be connected one way. Do not force the connection. Four, plug the power adapter into an electrical outlet. Note, it should take approximately four hours to recharge an empty battery. A fully charged device has 15 hours of battery life if used continuously. It is also possible to use a computer to charge the VRS. Simply connect the long cable that came with your player to a computer's USB port. When connected to a computer, the device will charge. However, depending on the power source, it can be slower. Turning the power on or off. One, press and hold the power button until the VRS beeps once to turn on the device. Two, press and hold the power button until the VRS beeps twice to turn off the device. Adjusting the volume. One, press the volume up or volume down key. Note, the power button also allows you to set the volume, speed, and tone settings. Turn on the VRS and lightly tap and release the power button again to go through the options. Use the up and down arrow keys to adjust preferences. Key Describer Mode All the keys on the numeric keypad have different functions. Use the Key Describer Mode to help you get started on learning these keys. 1. Press and hold the number 0 until you hear Key Describer on. 2. Press any VRS key to learn its function. 3. When finished, press and hold the number 0 again until you hear Key Describer off. Here is a list of the number pad keys and their functions. 1. Bookshelf key. Press it repeatedly to cycle through bookshelves. 2. Scroll up key. Press it to navigate up through items. 3. Delete move key. Press this key to delete or move a book from internal memory to the SD card. 4. Move back key. Press this key to navigate backwards. 5. Where am I key. Press this key to hear the reading position. 6. Move forward key. Press this key to navigate forward. 7. Menu key. Press this key to enter the configuration menu. Press and hold to toggle text-to-speech voices. 8. Scroll down key. Press this key to navigate down through items. 9. Playback mode. Press this key to switch between recorded audio and the same position in the equivalent electronic text when available. Star. Cancel key. Press this key to cancel an action. Press and hold to lock the keypad. Zero. Information key describer. Press and hold this key to turn on or off key describer mode. Press once to obtain information about a book or the VRS. You can also press it repeatedly to listen to each item. Alternatively, press once and use the move back four or move forward six keys to move through the items. Pound, confirm key, confirms an action or a text entry with the VRS keypad. Press and hold this key to hear the battery power and the download status of an item. Understanding Bookcases and Bookshelves VRS organizes books in bookcases and bookshelves. There are two bookcases, the standard offline bookcase 
and the online bookcase. Each bookcase has various bookshelves. 1. Switch between bookcases by pressing the online button, top row's middle key. 2. Use the bookshelf key, 1, to switch between bookshelves within each bookcase. Navigate between bookcases by pressing the online button. Remember, the online button is located on the top front face of the device. It is a round button above the number 2 key. When configuring the device with the menu key 7, the standard offline bookcase and the online bookcases have different options. Navigating the configuration menu. 1. Go to the standard offline or online bookcase by pressing the online button. 2. Press the menu key 7 repeatedly to cycle through menu options. 3. Press the scroll down 8 or scroll up 2 key to browse the menu items. 4. Press the move back key 4 and move forward key 6 to cycle through submenu options. 5. Press the confirm key pound sign to select an option. Bookcases. Each bookcase has different bookshelves. The standard offline bookcase has the following bookshelves. Talking books, music, text files, notes. If there are no books or files on a bookshelf, it will not be listed as you cycle through bookshelves. However, the notes bookshelf is announced regardless of its content. The online bookcase has the following bookshelves by default. Internet radio, references, podcasts. Note, other bookshelves are announced. Online services such as NLS Bard, NFB Newsline, or Bookshare require prior activation before use on the VRS. Standard Offline Bookshelves The standard bookcase is not available if the SD card is not inserted. 1. Press the online button. 2. Press the number 1 button repeatedly to cycle through your options. If you hear Internet Radio References and Podcasts you are using the online bookshelf. If you hear Notes Music and Talking Books you are using the standard offline bookshelf. Note, except for notes, VRS will only announce bookshelves that contain books or files. 3. Press the bookshelf key 1 until you hear Talking Books 4. Press the Move Forward key, 6, to move forward and Move Back key, 4, to move back through the list of books. 5. Press the Confirm key, pound sign, or the Play key to read a book. Repeat these steps until you are comfortable finding the various books within the standard offline bookcase. <laughs>